At the beginning of this season, I never in a million years expected little old Tottenham Hotspur to be in the final of the Champions League. How many of you did? There's a couple. I know there's a couple of people who have messaged me and said, we're going to win it. And they've been saying it all season, so fair play to them. But I never saw it. I always hoped for it. always believed that it was possible, maybe. Um, but I didn't see it coming. Pretty sure that Pochettino and Levy didn't see it coming. I'm pretty sure in terms of the project that we, uh, we are slightly ahead of that in that respect. Not maybe in the... Uh, in the stadium states, I'm pretty sure they expected to be in the stadium a lot earlier than we were. But in terms of the Champions League, I think they they will definitely be saying, "Well, that's a good season. Get into the get into the final for sure. It'd be a great season for pretty much 99% of the teams in Europe." To be fair, did we shit our way to it? Mm. Lots been said about that. Lots been made about it. I'm a great believer in um, sometimes you make your main your own uh, your own luck. The harder you work, the luckier you get. Yeah, we've had a couple of uh, couple of decisions that have gone our way, namely the uh, the VAR decision in um, in Manchester. You know, massive, massive, um, and one of those that could have gone either way. But at the same time, you look at the Danny Rose penalty. Should that have been a penalty? Oh, could have gone either way. I've seen them not given. Luckily for us, Hugo did the business. And for whatever we've said about um, Hugo, um, when it's really come to it in some of these big games, he's really stepped up for us. So, like I say, the harder you work, sometimes the luckier you get. Games have gone right to the wire, haven't they? And we've been on the bad end of that. And we've been on the good end of that. So again, you know, does it balance itself out? Maybe. So personally, I'm thinking, we're there because we deserve to be. We've had a bit of the rubber degree. But to win any competition, you need that bit of luck. Don't tell me that when Leicester won the Premier League, they didn't have luck. They did. Don't tell me that Manchester City winning the league this season, they didn't have a little bit of luck. They did. So, you know, it's one of those elements that makes it up. Good players, good management, luck of the draw, and a bit of luck. That's what takes you to the final of the Champions League. That's what takes you to the final of, uh, of pretty much every competition. So, in terms of Liverpool, have they had the hardest, uh, hardest running? I don't know. You know. I think if you look at their running against ours, I think the only team that you really would stand out for them is Barcelona, who, um, who they beat convincingly. Fair play. Um, but apart from that, you know, was their draw as bad as ours? We had the group of death, second year running. Did we not? But we completed it. Just about. Get it. Just about. But we got it. We got through it. Don't forget, in a league like that, it's played over all of the games and all of the results. It's not just about your results. And it's just not about one game in that. It's about all of them. Harry Kane in Dortmund when he put the ball in the back of the net and you literally hear it thump the stanchion and the absolute deathly quietness of the Dortmund fans before it erupts with a Yid army fantastic absolutely iconic imagery on the TV if you get if you haven't seen it on the TV I watch it it's absolutely brilliant it's it's a beautiful piece of cinematography and one of them that will be played time after time in the future I guarantee it 
So then we get out of the group of the death and we're playing Dortmund, top of the Bundesliga. Beat them and then we're playing Manchester City, champions of the Premier League and we beat them. Then we play Ajax, champions of the, of the Dutch league. Don't ask me to say how you say their league. Top of the Dutch league and we beat them. And so it takes us now to play second place Premier League team, Liverpool. So, I'm just gonna put this out there. And it's just a personal opinion, right? So, you could disagree with me as much as you like, and this may boil the piss of some Liverpool fans. But to be honest with you, I don't care. This is my, this is my, my opinion, my view, my dream. It's 1-1, six minutes on the clock before we go to penalties. Musa Sissoko gets hit on the back of the head by the ball which knocks him into Dick Van Dyke and the ball trickles over the line to score the winning goal in the 97th minute. Arrit! That is shithousery. And that will be the sweetest, the sweetest thing to happen in a game against Liverpool. Can you imagine, can you imagine the meltdown? The meltdown that the Liverpool fans will have. They will be, they will be right into the European Parliament. They will be having petitions coming out of their ears. Twitter will explode. It will be chaos and carnage. And Tottenham fans are going to walk into work like Leonardo DiCaprio in The Wolf of Wall Street. Thank you very much. And I will absolutely love it. Cruel? Too much? Is it? It's just my dream. It doesn't have to be your dream. You can like Liverpool. I don't care. But that's my dream, boys and girls. Sake of diversity. Um, that's my dream. I am in my 50s, so I can remember the great Liverpool teams that won everything, all the time. I can remember them like it was yesterday. And I can remember the arrogance and the ignorance and the attitude of Liverpool fans back in that day. And yet, yeah, I'm not ashamed to say it, it pissed me off. And that is one of the reasons why I don't want Liverpool to win anything. Because their fans are unbearable. For those of you that grew up in the 90s that think Man United fans were unbearable because they won everything, they got nothing on the Scousers, mate. They got nothing on them. They are entitled to everything, let me tell you. So, I can remember it. So, I'm not gonna uh, shed a tear for Liverpool if we win it in a shit hours way. Not for a second. I will absolutely love it. In the words of the famous Kevin Keegan, I will love it if we beat them. I will love it. <laughs> Up the Spurs.